the book of Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 1, reading from the NLT. And it reads, I will climb up to my watchtower and stand at my guard post. There I will wait to see what the Lord Yahweh says and how he will answer my complaint. The Lord's second reply. Then the Lord Yahweh said to me, Write my answer plainly on tablet, so that a runner the prophet can carry the correct message to others. He says this vision is for future time. It describes the end and it will be fulfilled. If it seems slow in coming, wait patiently for it will surely take place, it will not be delayed. I would like to believe, begin this lesson by giving honor and glory to the power of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh is the power that they called upon, whom the Lord ignorantly called God. That's right. That's the Hebrew word. For our power is Yahweh, his only begotten son, the root and offspring of King David, the bright and morning star, the king of kings, the lord of lords, the beginning and the ending, the alpha and the omega, the conquering lion from the tribe of Judah. His name is Yahweh Shai. That is our deliverer. Yahweh Shai means he saves. He delivers. He is salvation for who? The children of Israel. Family, before I get into the headline news and the prophecies, like we always do, let's give double honors to our leaders from the great millstone, starting with our head apostles, the bishop, the elders that taught us this truth. Let's acknowledge peace, eh? Peace to the brothers. Peace and salutation to the 144,000. These are the men doing the work, pushing the gospel of our King, the Redeemer of Israel, Yahweh Shai. And to you, the listeners, eh? Part of the large multitude, men, women, children, I pray again that this message find you in perfect peace. Another day to bring the prophecy of our King Yahweh Shai. Yes, there's no going back. We are not going back to 2016, how things used to be. No, this is leading to the second coming of our Lord, our Redeemer Yahweh Shai. We are not here to tell you uh, there are going to be flowers and they're going to be popcorn and it's going to be gravy for 20, 2024. No, 2024, that's right, is going to be the beginning of the tribulation like our beloved apostle to declared 2024 to be the hopeful year of jacob's trouble that's right and the year indeed has begun beautifully for the hopeful elect because beloved when these things started when we start seeing the nations in confusion the, the left don't know what the right is doing and the weak saying, I'm strong, I'm ready to take on America. Family, this brings a lot of joy to our hearts because we know that this is prophecy. And yesterday, family, everybody saw it on the news. Yes, America and UK has started the Third World War. And there's no going back because this is what? Prophecy. Let's open it up with Revelation 11:14. It said the second war is passed, which was what, 1939 to 1945. That was the second world war. And it says what? Behold, the third war cometh quickly. That is the third world war before Yahweh Shai shows up. 
Eh? And we are extremely, extremely grateful. Eh? Extremely grateful for this message, for this beautiful, glorious gospel that the Lord put it in our mouth, family. You see, we are grateful for family. We are grateful. And all praises to our power, Yahweh. And his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Our king, the redeemer of Israel. That's right. We worship Yahweh Shai. And we are not family. Or we are not ashamed to say it. Because we know the sacrifice that he made for us. Without him, I cannot do this lesson. Without him, I would have been out there still calling myself black. Yes, Negro. Hey, African American. Yes, Nigerian. Oh, Ghanaian. Oh, I'm Jamaican. No, 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 family. We are the Hebrew Israelite. That's right. We are the Hebrew Israelite. And salvation is for us. And we pray that we are among the numbers. Hey? But as long as we do the things that are pleasing to the Lord, come on. Yahweh God is through his only begotten son, Yahweh shall God is. So, family, it is with. Mm? This is a privilege. A privilege to bring you this glorious gospel. And let's get right into it. Family, we have a few articles to bring out. Headline news, eh? This is from End Time. This is from End Time Headlines, eh? It says, a multi-front war is shaping up with America potentially engaged against Russia. Hmm. Family, this is like music to my ears. China and the Middle East. Family, you know what that is called? It is called Third World War. And we know a lot has to happen leading to it. And we know microchip Revelation 13, 16 also have to be fulfilled. But family, we are very close. We can taste it. We are very close. We can taste it. It says, did you see that we just bombed the Houthis? This happened late last night, okay, into this morning. That's right. United Kingdom and America... A lot of countries this time didn't want to, you know, participate. Because why? Because it is the Lord that is directing this. The Lord is going to show the entire world who the wicked is. And he's already doing it. He's exposing Esau. He already told him, uh, Jeremiah 49, 10. He said he can't hide anymore. Everybody know that why? Esau, Edom, it is the cancer of the world. The self-proclaimed white man. And it is the Lord that is going to remove him. Nobody is going to be able to take the sight, remove, take the, the sword from his hand. Absolutely not. He is doing everything the Lord asked him to do, to take peace from the earth. Because if Esau is out there, eh, family making sure that everybody have food to eat, making sure that your air is clean, your water is clean, eh, there's no violence on your street, that means... The Lord, Yahweh, is a liar. And we know that our power, Yahweh, is not a man that should lie. He created him to be the wicked. So you can't expect anything good to come from the wicked. But the wicked. Like he says, you can, you can plant an apple tree, and then you get there in the family, there's a, what is it called, orange on the tree. No, 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 no. It makes no sense. He's playing the role that he's supposed to play in this movie. Family, that's why we are rejoicing. We have the sure word of prophecy. It says, each new day in 2024 seems to bring some sort of a new escalation. And for now, most Americans can ignore all of the fighting because it is all happening on the other side of the globe. You see that? That's right. That's America. Majority of Americans are family. No, let, 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 let's be honest. If it's not happening in America, they don't, they don't care. Hmm? That's right. It's, we never come to America. It's in the Middle East. That's okay. Let us continue to destroy other nations. But no, civil war is coming. Oh, yeah. Revelation, not Revelation. Isaiah 19, verse 2 to 3. It, ha it has to play. Civil war is coming to America. That prophecy hasn't been fulfilled yet. You see, but how are they going to feel when the U.S. is actively engaged in multi-wars simultaneously and those wars are directly affecting daily life inside the United States? The time to speak out against the foolish policies of our leaders is before the entire world is engulfed in flames. Once thousands of missiles start flying, it will be too late. That's exactly what is happening. It would be too late for what? No, 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 no. The missiles are going to fly. 
And there's nothing a man can do about it. You see, that's what people always, like we could, oh, people are, uh, uh, what is it called? Um, uh, asking for peace. You know what? Oh, let's stop this war. Can we stop? No, 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 no. Are you kidding me? That means you're going against the Lord. That's what mean you are going against the Lord. Let me let's read this thing quickly because some maybe someone can maybe break this thing down for me. Let's go to uh, Revelation six four. Okay, if the Lord says this, eh? if the Lord says, it, listen, pay attention closely. And there went out another horse that was red. Horse represent what? Power. Red is what? Esau Edom. It is a nation. Esau's self-proclaimed white name. Sorry. Self-proclaimed white man. His name was changed to what? Edom. Meaning what? Red. You see? The nation of Esau. Hmm? Because of that red portage family. Reading the book of Genesis. Is it Genesis 27? No, maybe Genesis. I can't remember the answer. Let me see here if I can get it quickly. Let's finish this one first. And power was given to him that sat there on. Eh? Eh? It says what? Power was given to him, meaning rulership, that sat there on to take what? Peace from the earth. And that they should kill one another and was given unto him a great sword. His military his military. So if the Lord has given him, have blessed him with the sword, you can take it from him. Americans, they love their guns. That's right. Esau, generally family, no, there's no other. They are the best hunters out there. Look it up. Look it up. The self-proclaimed white man. That is his blessing. He's taking peace from the earth. That's why you how was shy now. That's right. The deliverer. The Redeemer of Israel, he's the one bringing peace. And one of his what, title is what? Shiloh. You see? You see how everything comes together? That's right. There's no confusion. Family, this is clear as day. Everything the Lord said is going to happen is happening right in front of our eyes. That is why we give him glory and honor and praise. Because he's not a man that should lie. He made this man to be wicked. And this man here, every agenda that he brings forth, it is wicked. Pure wickedness. Hmm? So he's doing exactly what he's supposed to do. And that's why we are giving honor and glory to our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. He says here, this is coming from Sputnik. Let's read here. Joint US-UK assault on Houthis. Here is the latest. But family, I'm going to pick it up from, let, let, let's read it. It says, Houthi leader Mohammed al-Bukayati pledged on Friday, which is today. Today's date is what? January 12th. Man, this year is starting off on a bang. That's why family, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. You see? Esau has the great sword. Esau is doing everything that he's doing. Third World War is at the door. Do you think we have, uh, we, have, uh, we, have we have more? We're going to he be here for another two, three years? I say nay. You see? I say nay. It's all coming to an end, family. Yahweh Shai is coming in the midst of Third World War. And like you said here, they are going to what? Engage who? Russia is coming. Russia is sitting back. Because Russia is going to be what? Watching over Iran. But America think Russia is going to sit back and watch them, and eh, NATO, and watch them attack Iran. No. Ezekiel 38 has to be fulfilled. Because Russia is going to be a guard unto this nation to destroy America and the West. That is what is coming. Mm? And we are telling you, so our power, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, will get all the glory. Let's read on. He says here, Houthi leader Muhammad al-Bukaiti pledged on Friday that the United Kingdom and United States would soon realize that the strike on Yemen were the greatest folly in their history. That's the spirit. That's what we want to hear, family. We don't want to hear anybody saying, let's sit around the table and talk about peace. No, retaliation is coming. And Yemen, they've been fighting, what, uh, literally America, now America and Saudi Arabia for a long time. They've been a civil war for a long time, and they know how to fight. 
You see? And they are not they are not they are not afraid to die. That's the thing. You see? And they feel like they have nothing to lose. Later he said the British and the US forces have carried out airstrikes against the Houthis in Yemen in retaliation for the militants' attacks against ships in the Red Sea that has been ongoing since November 2023. What has been known about the strike so far, Sputnik Explore. U.S. Air Force Central Command Lieutenant General Alexis Greene Kiewicz, oh my goodness, I'm just, I'm just going to call him Green, told reporters that American and coalition forces hit more than 60 targets at 16 Houthi militant locations in northern Yemen on Thursday evening. The locations included the capital Sana'a, the Houthi Red Sea port of Hudai. Hudeida in the Dama Governorate and the northern western Houthi stronghold of Sada. But here I came across this thing here. Let's pick up, let's pick it up from here. He said Houthi leadership response. That's this one. It says here. Houthi leadership Mohammed al Bukaiti tweeted that America and Britain made a mistake in launching the war on Yemen because they did not benefit from their previous experiences. Every individual in this world is faced with two choices. Either to stand with the victims of genocide, referring to what? There's people in, God, in Palestine. Or to stand with its perpetrators, he added. Al Bugaiti, uh, Al Al Bukaiti also was echoed by Nassar Adin Amar, vice president of the Houthi Media Authority in Sanaa, who hit out at what he called a brutal aggression against our country by America. They will pay absolutely and without hesitation. And we will not back down from our position in supporting the Palestinian people, whatever the cause he vowed. And that took me to the book of Isaiah 66, verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. This is the mess of that third world war. And with his chariot, he's coming with thousands and thousands of ships. And the angels are going to be in there. Michael is going to be directly behind you. I was shy. And he so said, like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. That's how he's coming to judge the world. I forgot to bring go back here. I know I brought this out yesterday. I know, but Joel 3 2 is in full effect right now. Joel 3, let's pick it up from verse 9. You have a small nation like uh, uh, Yemen. Family, they are about to go against what? Goliath. That's America and the UK. <clears throat> That's what the Lord says here. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Joel 3, 9. This among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. That's right. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. It's not just going to be isolated to just Yemen and what is it called? Uh, uh, United Kingdom and America. No, 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 family. The whole Middle East is about to rise up. You see, no, this is not the, uh, what is it called? Um, uh, what is that? De Desert Storm. The Iraq war in the 90s and in the 2000s. No, 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 family. This is different. The whole Arab countries are saying no. This time, this is it. We're not going to sit back and watch Esau destroy our land and continue to pillage our resources. So this is it, family. There's no going back. Yahweh Shah is coming. And we are telling you through the spirit and power of our king, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is coming. He said, proclaim this. Pro -pro proclaim ye. Announce. He says, announce it. Ye this among the Gentiles. Eh? He said, prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw nigh. Let them come up. He said, beat your plowshares. No more farming equipment. 
Your farming equipment, turn them into swords. Your miss in, into missiles and your pruning hooks, also farming equipment into spears. Modern day spears are what? Your missiles, your drones. Eh? That's right. They have under underwater drones. Eh? Family. He says here, let the weak, the weak, the weak say I'm strong. Do you think 10, 15, 20 years ago, all this small nation could have stand against America? I'll say no. No, 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 no. Family, they couldn't. Over 850 army bases around the world. Family, no, America was sitting high on the hog. Because why? The vision now, it says here, let's go back to where is it? Where is it? It says the vision was for what? An appointed time, right? Habakkuk chapter 2 again. Verse 3. It says for the vision is yet for an appointed time. You know the, the time now? This is the time. Because the reason why nobody was able to go against them in the 90s, in the 2000s, is because why? It wasn't the time. Now you have small nations. The Lord says, let the weak say, I am strong. Wake up the mighty men. This is the time. It says, read on. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. The Lord is not a man that should lie, family. If the Lord give you those lotto numbers, you better go play it. He says here, though it tarry, it feels like it take him forever. Him? He says what? Wait for it. It why? Because it will surely come. It will not tarry. That's the power that we serve. And this power here belongs to Israel. That's how blessed we are. Every day we wake up, we say, man, thank the Lord. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, for making me an Israelite. Can you imagine being other nation, family, seeing, no, 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 family. I thank the Lord that I'm an Israelite. Yes. Brakata Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Hey? Let's go on. Let's continue. Let's bring another article. So, you see what is happening? Hmm, the week is standing up. And the Lord is going to be glorified. Iran back rebels vow on imaginable revenge on u.s and united kingdom after strikes on houthi strongholds kill five militants you see the whole west asia aka middle east is gathering together they are coming together hmm? family this they couldn't make this statement if, if, let's say five years ago they couldn't make this statement that goes to show you the time that we are living. That is why the Lord said what? Zephaniah chapter 2. I brought it, I brought it yesterday. It says here, gather yourself together. Ye nation not desire. Before what? The decree. What am I doing? Let me bring it up. Because this message is for you. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, African American. The man, the Lord is sending his men out here on a daily basis to warn you. Before he brings what? The decree. Zephaniah chapter 2. Listen to this. To you. So stiff-necked people. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, African Americans. You think this is your home. Because you got it comfortable. Hmm? Esau gave you a, a five to, uh, uh, what? Nine to five job. You know? Gave you a mortgage and rent. Now you think, yeah. Now this is the American dream. I do, no, 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 no. This is not our home. Yahweh is coming. The kingdom to come, that is when we're going to rest. And besides, you are royalty. You're not supposed to work. The reason why you're working is because the Lord is punishing you. Hey, he says here, gather yourself together. Yay, gather together, O oh, nation, no desire. Hmm? He said before the decree bring forth, the Lord is about to set this place on fire. He's bringing famine, diseases, all type of stuff. Hey? And he's warning you. He says here, before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as the shaft, that is fire, before the fierce anger of the Lord, Yahweh, cometh upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you, what did the Lord say? He says, seek ye the Lord, Yahweh. Oh, ye meek, that's you Israelite, and this message is for you. You can say you haven't been warned of the earth, which have wrought his judgment Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. You want to be in the chariot. If the Lord says, you better, you better go to Ezekiel 338 
So the Lord says, I should go to Ezekiel 3.38. Let's find out what is there. And Ezekiel 3.38. 3.33, I think. Is it 3.38? I think it's 3.17. I think it's 3.17. I said 3.17. Let's go there quickly and we're going to get the article. The Lord says what? Hmm? Is it 3.17? Son of man. Hey? It says here, Ezekiel 3, 7, it's a son of man. I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Hey, the prophet, starting with our head apostles. Hey, the bishop, we are the mouthpiece of the Lord. Hey, he says, son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. That's why the Lord said, seek ye the Lord. He's about to judge this place. And he's coming. He says here, hey, give them warning for me. Let's continue. So when I say unto the wicked, the wicked of our people, the one out there twerking, going, getting up every Sunday, going to those hallowed houses, and hey, hey, worshiping Buddha, worshiping Allah. Listen to this. Thou shalt surely, he said, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way. We're telling you, Turn back to the Lord. Stop eating pork. Stop eating shrimp. All this abominable food. Stop eating them. You have a dietary law. Keep it to the best of your ability. And seek ye the Lord. Judgment is coming. It says here. Nor speaketh to warn the wicked from his wicked way. To save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. But his blood will I require at thy hand. And I don't want that. When the Lord shows up, I gotta be ready to go. Yahweh Ratazza. I pray that the Lord have mercy upon me. I don't want your blood on my hand. So I'm warning you through the spirit and power of our King Yahweh Shai. He said, Yet if thou warn the wicked, that's what we are doing right now. That's why, family, they or we lessons are coming out, going out every day. Every day, telling you, showing you the prophecies, telling, showing you the article. This is warning. He said, Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turned not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he, that's right, the wicked, eh, shall die in his iniquity. But thou hast delivered thy soul. And that's what I want. If I warn you, we present all this, this glorious gospel, the gospel of Yahweh Shai to you, and you don't accept it, eh, and then you die. Oh, no, 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 my job is done. Oh, my job is done. I'm going to be up in the chariot looking down and say, look at little Ray Ray. Oh, shoot, the Lord just, just look, look, look at the missile. He just ate the missile. You'll be standing there and burning, eh? And then screaming. And meanwhile, your spirit is still within you. The Lord hasn't taken the spirit away yet. You're burning. You feel you're burning. Eh? You're feeling your, your body. You are in this fire. That is, that, that is torture. That is terror. That's why I said, knowing the terror of the Lord, what do we do? We persuade men by what? Bringing these lessons, showing you that we are at the end. This place is not going to last three, four, five years. No, this is it. The kingdom is coming. Okay? Like our beloved apostle De, uh, Taha declared 2024 to be what? The hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. What does that tell you? In order to what? Uh, to be delivered, we have to be in trouble. And that's what is coming. Jacob's trouble, they says, but Jacob shall be saved out of it. Jeremiah 30 verse 7. And it says here, Iran back rebels vow unimaginable revenge on US and UK after strike on Houthi stronghold. Five, uh, uh, after, sorry, UK after strikes on Houthi strongholds kill five militants. Let's read a bit here. The Iran backed Houthis have vowed unimaginable revenge in the wake of the U.S. and the U.K.'s overnight bliss on their military bases in Yemen. Family, it's not going to slow down. It's going to escalate because the big head is what? Iran. They want Iran to get in. America wants to take down Iran. And then the moment America goes against Iran, Russia is going to step in. Libya is going to step in. Ethiopia, all the Arab nations, everybody's going to rise up. And in the midst of that, Guess who is showing up? Yahweh Shai. Because he says when he showed up, all these nations, they put their differences aside to fight him. Read the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 13. Hmm? And Revelation 12, 7. Family, this is what is about to take place. That's how close we are. Hmm? It says here, um, the furious rebel group called the Coalition Strike that hit 60 militant, military targets and kill five of their militants 
and I attacked. Oh, no, no, let me read that. It's the it's a the furious sorry, the furious rebel group called the Co coalition strikes that hit sixty military targets and killed five of their militants. An act of war. As a full blown conflict threatens to explode in the region. Western coalition forces smash dozens of military targets, including we get we get that. Eh? So you see, they vow what? They vow retaliation. Eh? It says this cannot stand. The United Kingdom will always stand up for the freedom. Okay. That's yeah. So family, you get the point. That's right. It says what? Unimaginable revenge. So we are patiently waiting to see what is going to happen. You see. It's all coming to an end. It says here, this is coming from uh, <clears throat> Al Mayidin website. It says, break it. It says, all United Kingdom, U.S. interests in the region are legitimate target, meaning all the United States, uh, what is it called, military bases. Yes, family. This is it's not stopping. There's not going to be no negotiation now. This is leading to the second coming of our Lord, Yahweh Ratazza. UK and US presence in the Red Sea violate international law and the Republic of Yemen is responsible for dealing with it appropriately. The Yemeni Supreme Political Council of the Sana'a government issued a statement on the joint US-UK overnight aggression against Yemen, warning of imminent retaliation. What the country has been subjected to is an unjustified and illegitimate American-British aggression which violates all international laws. The statement, opening statement, read. And so, beloved, prepare yourself. And the Lord is coming. Yahweh King Yahweh Shai is coming. And Iraqi resistance, U.S. attack on Yemen demand end of American presence. You hear that? They want America out of Iraq. They've been there for too long. Pillaging, raping, taking resources. And went to a, 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 what, Iraq based on false pretense. Telling everybody that Saddam had what? Weapons of mass destruction. You saw Colin, Colin Powell, the former uh, United uh, Secretary of State. Eh? That's right. When before the UN present this vow in front of everybody telling the world that, yep, this is it. Saddam has weapons of mind. This, that's Esau family. And the Lord says there's no truth in them. You see, there's no truth in them. But it's all coming to an end. The same Lord that blessed him with the sword. That's right. That was Isaac. Our beloved forefather Isaac. And it's, it's coming in the form of Yahweh Shai. The same spirit coming back to remove, to take away that sword from Esau, Edom. And he's going to give it to his men. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Psalm 149. <laughs> Yahweh Ratazar can't wait. A number of factions in the Iraqi resistance condemned the American-British aggression on Yemen, praising the Yemeni people and their armed forces for their commitment to supporting the Palestinian people. You see what is happening right now? The whole Arab world is uniting. And they are all coming together. They're gonna to unite. They're gonna unite against who? That's right, the colonizers. That's what they are. That's right. That's what they are. Esau, Edom. The Lord saying, "I'm gonna make." He says, "Yeah." Actually, Obadiah just pops in my head. Barakataya, how about He says, "Yeah, Obadiah, mm? the water Yahweh for this knowledge, man. Oh my goodness, who? Obadiah, only one chapter, eh?" Let's hear what Obadiah says. The vision of Obadiah, that says the Lord Yahweh, concerning Edom. Eh? Esau Edom. We have heard a rumor from the Lord Yahweh, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. So family, do you think what is happening in the Middle East right now is coincident? No. It's, it's here in Obadiah. You see, they are united against who? Esau, Edom. It said, Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. If you go back to the blue letter word, let's go there quickly. Let's bring out a blue letter. And then we're going to go to Obadiah quickly because the word I've made you small mean insignificant. Okay? Let's get that Hebrew word for it, family. Like our beloved always say, you got to look up some of these words, you know, family. Mm hmm 
Ah, I said, what was oh, yes, Obadiah? One. And I have made, said, behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. The rest of the nation, they hate Esau, Edom. Especially America and the West. In the Arab world, the global South, yes. Because they know that, you see, they are responsible for what? Their poverty. That's right. Yemen. Eh? Libya. Who's responsible? Who destroyed Libya? Hmm? Hmm? Iraq. Who destroyed Iraq? That's right. Esau Edom, self-proclaimed white man. You see? Yeah, he gave himself white, but he continued to commit wickedness. Eh? Look, at, look up the word white. Google it. So research the name white. Benevolent, pure. But there's nothing pure about this devil. You see? He gave you black. Eh? Because this is a social construct created in what, 1681 in Virginia. And this, this information was brought to us by our beloved uh, uh, elder elder from Chicago, Malcolm. And then we went and looked it up. Yes, it was a social construct created, black and white. They took white and they gave you black. And they are the one doing all type of wickedness. Let that make sense. Let that make sense. So here, let's look up the word family. Let's look up the word small. Mm? Small in the Hebrew is what? Katan, right? Strong's H, 6996, Katan. 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 Young. Gersinius lexicon, Katan. Katan. Second entry, Katon. 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 Small, insignificant, unimportant. Eh? Unimportant. That's how they, when they look at Esau, E themselves proclaim white men. That is why you see all these nations are now rising up eh? against Esau, Edom. Because this is what the Lord said. Because family, whatever the Lord said, that's why we fear the Lord. It says, it says here, Behold, I have made thee small, insignificant, unimportant among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. I didn't even look up the word despised. Family, let's look up the word despised. Despise is what? Bazaar. Eh? Strong's H959. Mm. Mm. Bazaar. 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 What does this say? To despise. Hold in contempt. Disdain. Eh? To be vile. Oh, we know they are vile. Worthless. Mm. And that's how the Lord is describing Esau Edom. He said, Behold, I have made you this small among the heathen. Thou art greatly what? Despised, vile, you know? Mm, disgusting, family. He said, The pride of thine heart have deceived thee. Thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rock, whose habitation is high, that says in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? Because, family, when you are sitting in the power seat, when you can go drop bombs on nations and nobody fight back, you feel like you are untouchable. But no, the roads are about to be reversed right now. The Lord is building these nations up. And family, yes, Babylon the Great, it doesn't matter what anybody thinks. Babylon the Great is going to fall in our lifetime. And that time is fast approaching. We're praying that it is 2024. And the year of the Lord. The power beloved apostle to her said, what? The hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. And the Lord says, I've quoted it many times. Let's go there again. Let's go to Jeremiah 30 verse 7 quickly. And then we're going to read it. And eh? we should bring this out all the time. Family, this is the time to rejoice. This is not the time to be sad. Eh? Alas, for that day is great. So that that says what? So that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. But he shall be saved out of a family. Please bear with me. Let's get another version here. Let's read the NLT. And eh? let's hear what does NLT says. It says here, in all history, that's the time that we are about to enter into. He said, think about all in all history, from the flood, from the time the Lord, yeah, from the flood, from the after the flood, when Noah was only able to save his household, and then from the time we left Egypt and the Lord parted the Red Sea, then before that he killed, he brought all different plagues on Egypt, and. Eh? And then what? 70 AD, actually before that, Antiochus, when he moved in on us, eh? and then 70 AD, and then slave trade, all history. The Lord says, listen to this, listen to this. In all history, there has never been such a time of terror. The time that we are about to enter into, it has never happened before. He says here, it will be a time of trouble 
for my people, Israel. You hear that? And that's a poor possessive pronoun. Hmm? He says he created 18 nations, but Israel is his portion, Ecclesiastical, I think 1717, if my memory serves me right. Hey, that's why we are the Lord's portion. But let's read on again. It says it, it says, it will be a time of trouble for my people, Israel, yet in the end, they will be saved. Eh? And then you can mirror that with what? Family, let's get Daniel 12 quickly. Daniel 12, 1. Eh? It says here, and at thy time, what time? That's right, the end. Tribulation. Hmm? The terror that we just read in the book of Jeremiah 30, verse 7. Jacob's trouble. That, yes, Daniel is saying the same thing. And at that time shall Michael stand up. Why is Michael standing up? Because we, we are in trouble. We need to be saved. And the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be what? A time of trouble. Isn't the same thing Jeremiah said? Such as never was since there was a nation. Even to that same time and at that time thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. Who is that? The hopefully elect. And let's get another version. Family, please, please bear with me. Hey. NLT. At that time, Michael, the archangel, that's right, he's also our, our brother, who stand guard over your nation, will arise, then there will be a time of anguish greater than any since nations first came into existence. Are you listening to this, beloved? But at that time, every one of your people, whose name is written in the book, they are called the elect, will be rescued that is what everything is leading to blinking fails to convince arab states to join u.s led operation in the red sea why is that you so if you don't know who blink blinking is he's the secretary of state of united states hey that's right family we are living in a, a very very dangerous time america is 34 trillion dollars in debt Nothing is working. Eh, family, they can the left don't know what the right is doing. Eh, they are, everybody, the family, they are so divided along political line, along gender lines, and eh, class wars. That's right. It is over. For the Arab world to finally say, we have enough of America. Family, right now, they are wounded, though. They are dangerous. Eh, they are dangerous. They are, they are losing power. When someone is losing power, family, that's the time that you got to be very, very careful around them. They are losing their mind. Eh? They are losing their mind. They are seeing the BRICS. You are seeing Russia, China, eh? uh, Iran, all these nations dumping the American dollar. Eh? Because once you have that dollar, that dollar was family. That was the power that kept them going. And now they are losing that power. Because why? These nations are now trading in their own currencies. They don't need to go buy the American dollar and trade with their part. And then what? Trade. It make no sense. But that was the agreement. But now the nations are dumping the dollar, moving on to better and bigger things. Eh? Alliances are being formed outside the West. And they are desperate. So what? That's right. They're going to set the whole world on fire. If they can rule, that's right. They'd rather burn it down. Then give it to somebody else. That is what you are looking at. Let's read on. Blinking fails to convince Arab states to join U.S.-led operation in the Red Sea. All the Middle East countries have refused to join the U.S.-led maritime coalition against Yemen, except for Bahrain. United States Security, no, Secretary of State Anthony Blinken has failed during his tour of the Middle East to convince Arab states to join the U.S.-led Operation Prosperity Guardian against Yemen armed forces in the Red Sea. Sputnik reported, cited news website Summer 4. During his tour of the Middle East, Blinken failed to convince regional powers such as Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, Qatar, and Egypt to join the maritime coalition against Yemen. Concerning Saudi Arabia and UAE, the two Gulf states are not interested. 
in providing significant support for the military operation. Meanwhile, states like Qatar and Egypt are steering away from any U.S.-led operation, the news website reported. Family, can you, can you see it? You see what the Lord is doing? He says, I have, I have, I've made you small. Eh? I've made you insignificant. I've laid Esau bare. These are all the things the Lord is doing. You see, this, that's what the Lord says. Always wait for him. He said, when the Lord says, he says, wait. He said, the vision, the prophecies was for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak. And he's speaking clearly. All of a sudden, your own allies are saying that, no, 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 no. No, it's okay. We don't want to do business with you anymore. Let's go back to Obadiah, Yahweh Rata, Zah. Eh? Let's go to Obadiah. Where is this? This is Daniel. Mm? Let's go to Obadiah quickly. And family, we're going to wrap it up. And I hope you are edified. Beloved, stay prayed up. Okay? Your king, Yahweh Shai, our deliverer is coming. He is going to deliver us. Yahweh Rata, Zah, Obadiah 1. Mm? Let me read a little bit. Let's go to the NLT. No, 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 no. What, what did I do here? Did I bring Obadiah? No, why am I still in Daniel? Let's try this again. Obadiah. Okay. Uh, NLT. It says here. Let's pick it up for verse 6. Obadiah once said, How are the things of Esau searched out? How I his hidden things sought up? It says, All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. Let's look up the word confederacy, family. Mm. Confederacy in the Hebrew is what? Strong's H1285. Berith. Covenant. Berith. Covenant. Alliance. Pledge. Treaty. These are all the nations that you've, you know, you signed treaty with. At one point, they were at peace with you. Covenant making and confederacy. That's what it means. Well, let's look up another root. Let's look at the root word. To eat, consume. That's right, family. Technically, if you are in, in bed with somebody, guess what? You sit around the table and eat together. You trade, right? And bara. Hmm? That's right. So now, 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 now. The Lord says, all the men that were at peace with you, basically, confederacy. So let's read on. Let's read on. It says here, how are the things of Esau? No, no, no. Verse 7 now. All the men of thy confederacy, the one that you were in bed with, you signed treaties with, have brought thee even to the border. That is why nobody in the so-called Middle East, which is West Asia, doesn't want to join you anymore. They don't want to. You know what? They say, like, I don't want to go to you. I don't want to go against Yemen. They are my brothers too. You know, we worship the same God, you know? Yeah. You see? But no, the Lord is the one that have made you small. Because over time, like I said this many, many times, through my lesson, through the spirit and power of our King, our side, the Lord builds you up like Pharaoh. Eh? He builds you up and then it comes to a point where you think like you are untouchable. Does you see? Because why? Because pride sets in. The Lord builds you up eh? and then he put us and then pride sets in and then you don't, you said, I don't need the most, the God, the most high anymore. That's why when, when the Lord builds you up, guess what? You are dropping bombs on Iraq. Nobody hold you accountable. Afghanistan, Libya, destroying nations. But now all of a sudden the Lord takes away that power and the Lord exposes you. And all the pedo things that has been going on. That's right. The nations are looking at you and laughing at you. Because why? The Lord is removing that aura. That power that you have. The Lord is taking it all back. So he can show his power. To let you know that at the end of the day, you have no power. He's the one that set you up. So family, always be humble and pray. And ask the Lord to put the spirit of meekness upon you. Don't think of yourself highly than you ought to think. The Lord don't like the proud. He actually hates the proud. Okay? He says here, All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread. That's right, your debt. They took your debt in. And they used your dollar. 
Eh? That's why they brought their businesses to your country. They made money. Eh? He says, have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him. Shall I, shall I not in that day, says, to, says the Lord, even destroy the wise men of Edom and understand it out of Mount, uh, uh, sorry, and understand it out of Mount of Seir? Let me read NLT. Let me read NLT. Family, let's go to seven again. All your allies... Eh? Obadiah 1 7. All your allies will turn against you. Isn't that what is happening right now? That is why we give honor and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh. He says, They will help to chase you from your land. They will promise you peace while plotting to deceive and destroy you. Your trusted friends will set traps for you and you won't even know about it. At that time, not a single wise person will be left in the whole land of Edom, says the Lord Yahweh. For on the mountains of Edom, I will destroy everyone who has understanding. Family, that's what the Lord is about to do to Esau Edom. He's ending his kingdom. And it's going to, it's going to go through a third world war. I said, this is it. You saw it, family. No, the Arab nations don't want nothing to do with America. They're about to chase her out. You heard, you, we just read it in Obadiah. They're about to chase America out of the Middle East. And that's the time that we are entering into. And family, with that, I hope you were edified. So continue to stay prayed up. Things are happening. The Lord is pouring his love upon us in these last days. The prophecies are jumping off the pages. And, and we say all praises, honor, glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekwakodash. So, beloved, I will leave it there. I hope this message found you in perfect peace and continue to stay prayed up and prayed up and repent. Whatever you are into, repent. Seek the Lord while He may be found. Family, this is our last captivity. You don't want to be left behind, man. Because the family reunion that is coming, oh, you are meeting your king for the first time, eh? You don't want to miss it. You know how we party. Eh? You, you know how we party. Yahweh shall promise he's going to drink wine eh, with us for the first time. Eh? We are looking forward to that. So, beloved, I will leave it there. Again, I hope you were edified. All praises, honor, and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashem, Rekha Shalom.